Yo, everybody, here today to do us a video on a, one of, this is probably one of my favorite fruits, really it is. Definitely to eat. Uh, not the easiest to grow, but this is Bidiba, or uh, Anona mucosa. Used to be called Rolinia, Rolinia deliciosa, Rolinia mucosa. This one, okay, keep this in mind. This is a grafted tree. And it's a special variety that sets a bunch of fruits. See if we can start to show them these flowers. They got like a little helicopter shaped flower. Those are coming. Let me see if I can find some where they set. Oh. There's some that have set little fruit. There's some flowers there. That's set, but it may fall off. This one is awesome because it sets a bunch of fruit, okay? I know there's some more set. And then a lot of times when the fruit sets, it will rot or fall off. But dang, if this one doesn't set a bunch of them, and it's already made me six or seven fruits at least this year. Um, there's one on it right now. Here's some that have set right here. This is one where you can kind of see the little, the green nub. Kind of hard to show, but it's got like a little green thing there. And then this is the pretty side of the fruit, right? This one without the blemish. And you pick them and eat them when they're slightly green like that. You know, yeah, when they're partially green. So I'm gonna take this knife and cut it off. Let's come over to this side of the tree. I haven't really named this variety, but it is going to be in production. Like we're going to start grafting and having this available for sale soon. I got somebody working on that. Mark my words. So this is a grafted tree. We got it in production right now where it's going to be released pretty soon. Haven't really made a name for it. The fruit is delicious. And remember, this is a sin carp fruit. One that is a fruit that is a fused fruit of many ovaries these all are individual fruits like a pineapple that are fused together and so this one ripened before all the others and that's the rotten spot okay there's like a little soft rotten spot that already ripened but now the rest of the fruits caught up i'm sure it's going to be good to eat angel you've never tasted this before right no sir all right we're going to try this let's grab my chicken over here and walk to the bed of the truck here it is for size comparison next to a chicken. It's probably ways up. They get much bigger than this, but this is a decent size fruit for being grown in a container. Uh, they get much bigger, but this one's probably like a pound and a half, maybe. Let's cut this joker open. Keep in mind, everything is perfectly clean here. Oh. You know what, I should have. Do you have a camera where you can take a picture with your phone? With your phone? Yeah. Real quick? If you, I can hold the camera while you grab that. Because I want to get a picture of it before it's finally said and done. Just the fruit? Or you Just the fruit, yeah. And then no, me holding it too would be cool. Um, can you hold this phone too? I hate to make you do two things at once. But yeah, go ahead and get one with me and the fruit. Like, just kind of like... And then one more, just like this. And then let me get one with my chicken and the fruit. You all get to see the photo shoot. Good, good. Thank you. All right, now we're ready to cut this. You want me to take it of just the fruit, right? Two? Yeah, you can do that too. Oh, we're, okay, I forgot we're filming with that one. Okay, we're all over the place. There's his phone. I'm stealing his phone. Okay, let's cut this fruit open. Billy's ready. I kind of want to cut it right along the dirty part, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, so it is still looking pretty, pretty good. There's going to be a rotten spot. Look at this devil. She wants in. She wants in bad. She sees the white part. You ain't getting that. Not yet. All right, where's the rotten? That one's the rotten spot. Let's eat off the rotten side first. Set this away from the chicken. Oh, she's gonna go to it. I know she is, huh? I'm not smart. You gonna hold it? Yeah, you can hold it. Smell it. There you go. I'm cutting out this core. I'll let her pick at the core. There you go, you get the core. She's messing with it. You gonna drop it in there? You can set that down. It's messy. 
Yeah, on top of the truck works. I took the rock piece. Eat on that and tell me what you think. Pull my hair back for this. It's like kind of creamy. It's true. I've had them be sweeter, but it's sweet. You know what it tastes like to me? Like oatmeal with apple and lemon. But not, it's not, it's, it's smooth. It's not gritty enough. It's good. The first bite, you're a little timid. And the second bite, you're like, I need more. Mm. I'm loving it. Definitely one of my favorite fruits. This is good, yeah. It's got like, people say it tastes like lemon meringue pie, apple pie. To me, it tastes like a really creamy fruit. It's not too sweet, not too sour. It's got this fruit that tastes like nothing else. Mild, delicious. Eat too much skim and it gets bitter. There's not even like really a rotten spot either. Like, it's not even really rotten on the inside. That was the rotten spot. So don't be fooled by that one little rotten spot. I'll give you a couple seeds, but I need them though. I highly recommend that you grow this tree, but if you grow just any seedling, it may not fruit like this. I tried growing these before, and it would not fruit. It would flower, 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 not set any flowers, not set any fruit. Got bigger and bigger until it was in a 50 gallon pot. Finally did set a fruit, it was a runt. This tree that I'm growing is special because as a seedling, it fruited from seed in about two and a half years in a seven gallon pot this big. And it flowered and set fruit as an it isolated tree. Yeah. It's, it flowered and set fruit as an isolated tree in a greenhouse. So you know it didn't get pollen, pollinated from anywhere else. Hold on, I gotta wipe my face. Ah. So this is a really good variety. Haven't really named it. I thought of just naming it precocious because it flowered quick as a seedling and it just set so many fruit. Um I'm thinking of a better name than that though. Think of what else to tell you. I believe this seedling came from a line of seeds that was recently imported into the United States by a Brazilian collector. I was buying some fruit trees and I brought them home from a guy's house who is a collector that has a lot of cool stuff that was recently imported from Brazil. And keep in mind, this is like six or seven years ago by now. And out of one of the pots that I had popped up a Biriba seedling. I was like, I didn't buy a Biriba. I was like, hey, it came up. I may as well try to grow it. That thing was hard to grow. I've grown others before that could handle the cold. This one that I'm growing hates the cold. It needs high humidity. If it goes down to 32 degrees, it might kill it. So this is sensitive for sure. I keep mine in the greenhouse. And um, you can fruit them in a three gallon pot, believe it or not, but that's not usual. Five gallon, seven gallon, it happens. I've got pictures of mine fruiting with two or three fruit on it, bending the branches down. Wonderful fruit, Biriba. Definitely, if you can get a chance to try it, try it. If you can't, you might have to grow a grafted tree. Maybe this special one. Because like I told you before, the seedlings I grew, I got them from Fruit and Spice Park. They grow up and flower, not set any fruit. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Take care now.